Hi and welcome, I'm ZNSolo101 with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at cave spiders. Like other spawn cages slash monster spawners in Minecraft, mobs spawn up to four spaces in every direction from the cage, and these ones will be surrounded by cobwebs as a little extra bonus. Like my other builds, this only needs to be 11 by 11 counting the outside walls, or 9 by 9 if you're counting to the walls. That stops them from spawning on the outside of the walls, and this is my workaround to keep them away from climbing the walls as well. So as long as they don't touch the walls, they can't climb up them, so I find this the, a pretty efficient way to stop them from going up and down all over and staying in a spot where you can't hit them. These little things can be found in abandoned mine shafts, and they're quite abundant and quite pesky if you ask me. Um, cave spiders can fit into any small spaces only half a block tall. They climb walls, jump to bite, and poison you. So they're pretty unfriendly creatures. I find the trick to spiders is to move them as little as possible. I only move them down two and forward eight is plenty good enough. They seem to get stuck a lot moving them up and down or over a far distance. And in my opinion, it's just not worth it. It's not worth the time. And if you're not just drop killing them for a string farm, this is by far the best way to handle cave spiders. Simple sweet XP and spider eyes farm. It's really good for early game. It's easy to build on low on cost. And it'll get you some quick experience early in the game. If you're using this build and don't want to put a block in front of you here, you're going to get poisoned if you get close. Um, so what I would suggest doing is take some cows with you because the cure to poison is actually to drink the milk. And all you need to do is take a couple of buckets with you. And whenever you get poisoned, just milk the cows as you need. And you only ever need to use the same buckets over and over again. So I find that pretty convenient as well. So if you're going to have a poisonous spider farm and you're not going to stand an extra block back and hit them and have to walk up and collect everything each time or have a hopper collect it. But the experience does get stuck here. I tried to make it flow under, go past it, got, does get stuck here. That's pretty inconvenient. So if you're standing back a block, you don't need to worry about getting poisoned. And if you're not going to stand back a block, these cows will certainly be your best friends. A few facts about them are actually they are a hostile mob that have six hearts, or that's equal to 12 hit points because um, it's two hit points per heart. On easy and normal... They hit one heart, that's two hit points, and poison for seven seconds. Two hearts or four hit points worth of damage. On hard, they hit three hit points for a heart and a half, or poison for 15 seconds. And that does five hearts of damage or ten hit points of damage. And stops doing damage at half a heart or one hit point remaining. It'll, so it'll, the poison will no longer affect you and it won't kill you that last heart. But if they do hit you, that, that counts different than their poison. It'll still kill you. Um, cave spiders are unaffected by cobwebs and poison. Obviously, they're not going to be affected by cobwebs. But poison doesn't hurt them and cobwebs don't slow them down. So if they're chasing you and you get stuck in a cobweb, that only affects you. And something I actually didn't know until now is that cave spiders are neutral if under daylight or in light levels of 9 and above before seeing a player. Otherwise they are hostile and once they become hostile, light does not affect them at all. Spider And uh, another thing is spiders are arthropods, so en enchanting a bane of arthropods on your sword will help kill them much faster and it will be much easier on your swords. An iron sword will kill them with bane of arthropods on it very quickly. Okay, what I'm going to do, um, this is just a quick example of my build. This is 11 by 11, and counting the wall, that's 11 by 11, so 9 by 9 spaces. I make the hole directly underneath the cage, and I do make it the same amount high because they can spawn four spaces away, so you want to give them the max spawn you can. And I move them forward eight, and they actually go onto this here block with the fence post, so it counts as nine spaces away, and I don't find this here has a problem with spawning. I had 70 of them here, and they didn't suffocate, so I found that a thing too. I thought mobs suffocated around 40, but I had tested this here for probably about three days, and they just stay there, and I found that pretty convenient. So you can let them build up for quite a while. But I'm going to jump into survival, and I'm going to build this here step by step for anyone that wanted to see it actually being built, instead of just looking at the example. Um, thanks again for watching, for anybody tuning out now, and I'll be back in a minute with my build. Thanks again. Okay, really quick before I jump into things, I just actually wanted to 
show you actually how abundant these are. So if I take a look over here, there's two cages. Just right here. And cobwebs surrounding them. I cut some of them out. I just found this here. And then after I found those two, I just went down here a little bit and there's another one. So that's that's pretty close, guys. Like that's that's pretty close. That's pretty abundant. There's three in just this one spot. These are the first ones I found. But this is the one we're gonna use. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some fast forward on while I get this here building and I'll be back in a minute. Uh, friend, friend, oh my god, uh, we're gonna die! A little tip, um, make sure you put this here fence post in before you take the torches out. <laughs> that, that, yes, that definitely would have helped. Alright, once that room is dark, the spawn should start. This is pretty much everything you need. Um, you can add a little bit of design to it, maybe a little color. I just leave it basic like this because it is just a starting spawner. Uh, that's everything there is to it though. If you liked or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.